Today we're going to talk about something important. It's essentially Office 365 security for your users. If you manage or take care of any form of Office 365 tenant, we're going to go over how to lock down the tenant real quick. There's a new concept that you can actually do. We're finding that hackers will end up going into a user's account after they somehow provide their password, email, and their multi-factor authentication code to the actual hacker. And it could be that the hacker is proxying a page and causing the user to see that this looks like a Microsoft site, but the user doesn't look at the actual uh, link or the address in the address bar. And so they type in the username, the password, and then Microsoft sends a six digit code and then they give the six digit code essentially to the hacker. First thing the hacker usually does, they don't have to, obviously they can look around and check on things and start reading all your information, which is horrible. But at that point, they usually go and register a brand new multi-factor authentication method. That could be another text cell phone code or another Microsoft Authenticator. We're gonna go ahead and lock that down so that the hackers can't do that. And we will also work on showing you what the user will see. And essentially by doing this, the user will have to, you know, more than likely talk to an administrator when they get a new device. But what we find is that there, we manage a lot of users and it doesn't happen often. It's usually when a new hire is hired, we'll punch in their cell phone number to the MFA portal to make sure that they get a text code or we'll just walk them through and show them how to use Microsoft Authenticator, and get that set up. And so it shouldn't really happen that often that a user is gonna need that really. It's gonna be, when let's say they buy a brand new cell phone or uh, somehow, which we don't see it often, is change their phone number. So we're gonna get into it right now. So now here we're at the Office 365 login. We went ahead and set up a demo tenant for you guys so you can see everything from A to Z for the setup for this account. If we're gonna go ahead and log in with the admin credentials of the Office 365 portal. We're also going to connect here with the multi-factor authentication and then connect right in. And the next step here is to go to the admin center inside of the Office 365 portal here. And as you can see, we do have some test users loaded up in the system. On the left side, we're going to go to identity, which is the new Entra portal here. And once we get into here, we're going to go ahead on the left side and click on groups. And then we're going to go ahead and go to all groups as well, as you can see. Now you'll see the whole list appear. We're just going to simply create a new group. Now you have the option to create this group on site if you do do Active Directory synchronization. But for this demo, you know, we're going to mention that you can do it either spot. You just have to create the group and then sync it. But we called it block MFA changes, something simple like that. Go ahead and select all the users. Now you don't have to pick all your users. We probably do recommend it though. Uh, you want to probably be a little careful with picking administrative users. I don't even believe that it would work for them, but uh, you probably just want to select any end user in the list. And what we'll also do here is we're going to have to pick a user for our example, but we will just get everyone in there. We're going to go to the next section after this, after we hit create. Now that we're in the groups, we're done with it. We're going to go to protection on the left side and then go to conditional access under that. In here, we're going to create a brand new policy that is going to help us actually block the users from logging in and changing their MFA. So we'll go ahead and name this something similar as well. And for users, we have to click it. And then on the right side, include certain users and groups and select it. And then we're going to find the block MFA changes. So just like you see in the picture, that's what we have to do. For target resources, we have to hit this drop down box and go to user actions and then select register security information. So our goal is to block the user from registering security information. Now, as you can see here, we are not actually doing anything else inside of the network section or the conditions section. We're gonna go ahead and leave that all alone. So you can see here, it's all untouched, but there's some more granularity you can set up here. Uh, it's a little tough to see, but on the right side, after we click on grants, we're gonna click block access and we're gonna leave it as it is. And then we're gonna 
turn on the policy immediately. Now we've, this is a test tenant, so you could always do report only and see how the reports come out, but this is uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory here and we're only affecting the people that are in that group and we can always remove people from that group, which is what's nice about this is that if you really want the user to be able to go in, we can just remove them from the group and then the user can go in and manage their own MFA as they see fit and then you can go ahead and re-add them. So the key here is to make sure that all new users that you create and or any users that you remove are re-added into the group. So here we're gonna go back and triple check here. And as you see this note here, we're just writing out that this group could be coming from on-site AD with AD Sync. Uh, and so anytime you make changes, obviously you wanna continue syncing them if you are doing them with on-site Active Directory, but that's just a reminder there. And now for this group, to actually test this, we have to go in now and remove, we'll use the first user here, Adele Vance. We'll go ahead and remove her from the group. And it says it's successfully removed. So now she's gone. And then she'll be our good test person that we can use in a, another quick session here to check and see what uh, happens. So now that she's removed from the group, we expected that she should be able to log in and have access just fine to the actual portal as herself. So here we're gonna sign in as another user. We're gonna log in as her, punch in her email address and password and then also do her own MFA confirmation. And now that we're in the tenant, we're gonna go over to the top right and click her name and we're gonna click on view account in the top right and this is how a user would go in to change their mfa or a hacker would do that as well in this instance if they hijack the account so now you can also go to myaccount.microsoft.com as well if you'd like to go directly to this location to test it out for yourself and so we'll click on update info under security we'll also select the account again and we'll confirm that Yes, we can get here. This shows a cell phone number and password details. They're all right here. So we know that she is now out of the group and she's able to modify it. So now we'll go ahead and re-add her to the group for our test. And then you'll see now her name does appear, obviously doing this as the admin account. And now we're switching back to the tab of her account. And we're gonna just uh, refresh this real quick. And then we're gonna go to the top right again to click on the user's name. And then we're gonna click on view account to test this one more time. And then you'll notice here, we'll click on update info under security info, and we'll make sure that we're using her account. And it looks like it's about to work, but it fails. So hopefully if a hacker comes in, they'll see this page and they'll be stuck. But obviously it's always a big concern that we wanna make sure that hackers don't get in. Hopefully this helps you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for additional videos like this. And make sure to leave a comment below if you have any other tips or tricks that you like to do or recommend to others that you found as a good tip. There's so many different things you can do, but this is a really critical item that we recommend doing as soon as possible. Thanks.